Hello everybody, my name is Jyoti Verma, working as Senior Software Engineer in Unica Support Group. In this video, we will understand how to troubleshoot the broken Unica environment. First of all, what is a broken environment? It's a condition where you hit the Unica application URL in the web browser and do not get the login page. This is referred as either your environment is down or it's broken. Basically, there are four points that needs to be checked for fixing the broken environment. The very first point is to check the connectivity. It can be your internet connection or VPN connection or the proxy connection. Let's start. I am hitting the Unica URL in my web browser. And I get the login page. Now let's spread the connectivity. For this, I am disconnecting from my VPN. I am disconnected from the VPN. Now let's check. I get the error. There could be possibility that you are connected to the correct internet or VPN connection, but still you face the error. In this case, you should check the entry of Unica server hostname and IP in host file of your local system. For example, first let's check. We can access the environment. Yes. Now we will check the entry of Unica server hostname and IP in the host file of our local file system. Here we can see the entry is present. Now let's comment out this entry. Save the file. Now again check whether we can access the environment or not. We cannot access the environment because we have commented out the entry of the Unica server hostname. I am adding it back again. Saving the file. I can access the environment again. Now let's discuss second point that is operating system. Your environment can break if Unica server itself is down. By Unica server, I mean to say the server where your web app server is installed. Web app server is used to deploy all the Unica applications. Let's check that. I can access this environment. After entering the Unica application URL, I'm able to get the login page. Now let's shut down the operating system. This is my VM. So I'm shutting down it.
We will check again the status of this environment. I cannot access the environment anymore because I have shut down my VM. I am resuming this virtual machine. Let's check the environment again. Yes, I can access it again. So that was all about the second point. Let's discuss the third point that is web app server. It can be possible that Unica server where web app is installed is up, but web app server on which Unica applications are deployed is itself down or not started. Let's check that. I can access this environment. Yes. Now I will simply shut down my web app server. So the web app server in my case is WebSphere. First, let's check. Yes, web app is up. Now I am shutting down the WebSphere profile. So WebSphere is shut down now. I will hit the WebSphere URL and we'll check. I cannot get the login page. That means WebSphere is down. So since my web app server is down, I will also be not able to get the login page of Unica. Let's check that. Yes, it's down. So that was the third point. Let's discuss the last point that is database. It can be the case that your web app server and Unica server both are up, but still you can't access the login page. In such scenarios, you should check the database connection. Let's discuss this. Let's discuss this. I can access this environment now. Let's shut down the database. So the database in my case, it's Oracle. I'm stopping the Oracle service. OK, Oracle has been shut down. Let's let's check the environment. I get the error. In the error, we can see unable to acquire JTBC connection, which is very clear. One more way to check this is from your web app server. So let's check in my web sphere. We will go to the resources, JTBC data sources. And we'll check the connection to the platform database. Test connection. It's failed. The test connection operation for data source on server days with the following exception. 
listener refused the connection. We get this error because I have shut down the Oracle service. Now let's start the service again. Oracle services is started now. The test connection is successful now. And I'm also able to get the login page again. There are other causes as well that contributes to the broken environment. Let's check them out. So the first one is application not started due to incompatible Java version. There are instances where you are not using the compatible Java version in the corresponding web app server. That also leads to the application issues. Second, Web app server unable to connect to the database due to network interruption or unsupported database driver or any other issue. There are instances where web server is up, but it is not able to connect to the corresponding database. In that case, you should check the supporting driver. Wrong configuration in product.xml file in case of Tomcat server leading to the unsuccessful deployment of the product in Tomcat. So when your web app server is Tomcat, the deployment is done using the product.xml file which resides inside your Tomcat home conf Catalina localhost directory. If any configuration in that file is wrong or missing, deployment will not happen. This can also lead to the broken environment. Thus, you should check that. That's all for the broken environment issues. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.